A buddy of mine who was coaching high school ball in Georgia called me up and said, hey, there's a job opening in South Carolina. A school named Erskine. I said, Erskine? So I've never heard of Erskine. Erskine might not be the easiest place to find, but you can't miss the flying fleet. They're the ones sprinting toward history. Nobody's done this for 70 years, and just being able to be on that first class team, it was just something special about that. Good, bad, or indifferent, they're always going to be talking about how it started. Welcome to the first home game in 70 years. Hey, it's time to go, it's time to lock in, it's time to focus. Hey, focus on two. One, two, three, together. Seven decades after the program was discontinued following the 1951 season, Fleet Football is back and starting everything from scratch. I mean, there was nothing here. We were pointing to a field saying, yeah, that's where we're going to be practicing. Step onto this field, you know, I was going to say white lines, but we ran out of white. When, when they step across these lines, they got to basically make sure they're ready to go. Most of the teams we play, they probably looking at us as a win because we're so young and they don't know anything about us. So that kind of adds fuel to the fire. That fire is already burning. And thanks to the smoldering intensity of head coach Shat Boyd. Chris! I am not a wallflower. I'm waiting on you. Your nickel holding up a dollar. He'll get after you, but I mean, I don't see that as a bad thing. You don't develop the burst, you will not make plays. I'm your biggest fan, but I can also if be. You don't make plays, you're never going to be on that side of that line. Kind of like a little chihuahua kind of nipping at your heels. Then a defensive coordinator at Division II's UVA Wise, Boyd had never been a head coach when he was hired in 2018, but he boasted three decades of experience and shared an alma mater with Erskine's athletic director. Get it right, get it right, get it right. In the time since, he's worn many hats, from construction, designing the building, designing the weight room, all the, just down to where the urinals went, or handicap accessibility and things like that. I became an architect. Focus on what you can control. To salesmen. In life, you don't have an opportunity to be at the, at the beginning of something very often. I, I can't even put it into words. I, I knew it was going to be my first game, but I didn't expect it to be like that. It was so surreal. A moment I remember forever. I got emotional. I hadn't played a game since uh, November of 2017. In late February, the fleet went up to North Carolina for their first game in 70 years and beat Barton College thanks to a late fourth down touchdown between quarterback Craig Pender and Seneca McKee. For me, it was a relief. Everything was about the first game. And that's not what this is. This is about a program. It's not about a game. It's not about one game. To have that behind us and then to win it as well, that was the icing on the cake. Winning's always sweet. But building from the ground up is something to savor. Even if there's still some kinks to be ironed out. Big fourth down for the fleet offense. There's a home crowd and a home stadium. The fleet will play their games at Greenwood High School until they have their own place. I'm not looking for shortcuts. No one mandated me that I had to win championships within so many years or anything like that. I don't talk to them about winning. I talk to them about playing hard. I talk to them about putting in the time, paying their dues, developing a process. Winning games and that stuff, that's going to take care of itself. Say right, say left. When you start with nothing, there's a lot that needs doing. You don't accomplish that without a little faith. I want to build something. I want, I want a foundation. I want something that's going to be here and it's going to stand the test of time, whether it's a stadium or whether it's this program.